and here at the NVIDIA booth here at Computex 2017, you're showing a pretty cool box. What is this? So this is the DGX station, which is powered by our new Volta V100 GPUs. It's basically designed as a workstation for yeah. deep learning researchers so they can have the power of supercomputers in a box. Yeah. Uh, it's using four of our Volta V100 GPUs um, and it's designed, designed to give the same sort of power that our server offerings, our DGX1 does, but in a package. DGX1 was a previous generation, right? So DGX1 is our rack mount 8 GPU server. This is for GPUs and it's designed so researchers and other deep learning uh, people can just have it sitting by their desk rather than having to use something in a, in a data center. And so uh, there's x86 uh, uh, chip somewhere? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a Xeon based workstation. Um, there's like one or? Uh, yes. One Xeon and then whole bunch of GPUs, so it's got, but a special GPU. This is not consumer GPU. No, no. So the V100 is the most powerful GPU ever released. It's got some special stuff in it designed for deep learning. And we've got four of them connected by our NVLink technology for the fastest possible performance. So this huge performance. You're talking about 480 teraflops. Uh, is that what you're talking about yeah, for so this one? For, for deep learning, there's nothing that comes close to uh, this level of performance. And everybody's working on deep learning right now. Yeah. Everybody wants to do stuff in that direction. Deep, deep learning has so much potential for everything we do from robots to self-driving cars to when you uh, use your Android phone and say, OK, Google, that's using deep learning. So it has so many, so many uh, potential uses and you really need a powerful, powerful server to train these neural networks. And uh, right here we're seeing an animation of uh, this. So what is, what is this one? This is for the server version? Yes, yeah, so this is, this is the latest version of DGX1. We now have two versions, one that uses the Pascal-based P100, and this new one which is coming in a couple of months that uses the newest Volta V100. So this gives, this is the most powerful deep learning computer you can get. And for training neural networks, you can't get anything that, that comes close to this. So this would be, a, there could be a whole bunch of them stacked on top of each other. Uh, there could be a data center full of this. Yeah, yeah. So um, one on its own is, is ridiculously powerful. But once you really have a whole lot of these, um, you can do things in days that once used to take months. Uh, it really increases the efficiency and the, the power of what you can do with deep learning. And the way you've designed it, there's huge memory bandwidth, huge power, huge memory Yeah, so it uses um, what we call a cube mesh. So all of these uh, GPUs can talk to each other incredibly fast using a technology called NVLink. So rather than having to go through the PCI bus or um, you know communicate through the CPU, they can all talk to each other. And so you get much, much better performance and much more power out of having all of these GPUs in the one box. Nice. And what are you showing over here? Uh, so this is, this is HGX1. So this is a, a different implementation. Um, so it's used... So HGX is a partner-based uh, offering. Um, and all these manufacturers can can take that and design different different uh, solutions for the server yes, market. So, so like um, like DGX One, you you can have eight of these GPUs sitting in there, and um, it can be implemented by partners in different ways and still take take advantage of NVLink and the technologies that really help to maximize the performance of communicating between GPUs. What are we looking at around the, the chip, uh, all these things going on here? Is it part of the, the fast uh, communication chips um, kind of solutions? I'm pretty sure these are uh, like voltage regulators and power circuitry. So the actual chips themselves use HBM, so the memory is on the, is on the actual module itself. Um, and yeah, so these are basically powerful graphics cards, if you will, but yeah, GPUs designed to process deep learning information. And this is going to do all the AI kind of stuff that maybe is demonstrated a little bit over here. 
there's some uh, uh, AI works is you use these powerful servers to train a network. So you have a problem, you feed it data, you play, play around with the way the network's structured to get this information out. And this one, for example, uh, recognizes people. Yes. And not my light. Yes. It recognizes think, pe real people. So this is um, using, uh, using our Tesla GPUs as well, but what it's doing is for each pixel on the screen, it's working out if that's a person, if it's not, and tracking all the movements as we do it. So there's a lot of computation that goes into to making that work. And uh, over here is uh, some other for safer and smarter cities. So we're, we're doing a lot of uh, AI city work. So this is actually really cool. If you, if you have a look at this one, this is a police body camera. So yeah. this is walking down the street and what it's doing is it's identifying faces. Um, so you see the little boxes are coming up over faces as they come come towards you, and running it and just checking it against data. So are they all Nvidia employees? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm joking. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> all right. So um, that you can just the police can just walk around, recognize people, and the, yeah. the system can track. And There's so many cameras in London, for example. Yeah. They need to run your. And this AI. and that's the problem is that there are so many cameras, but. For someone to sit there and actually watch all this footage is impossible. And so by using these deep learning networks and the ability of GPUs to, to crunch through data quickly, you can have, um, say in this case, what, what this uh, network is doing is as the car's driving along, it's identifying other cars, it identifies what type of car it is, what the registration plate is, and it's also picking out people on the side. So it's it's able to process a lot of data in real time and sift out the actual information that you need. So and the some really of these you can just run on, on a consumer uh, GPU. Um, some of these things could be like this could be in a car maybe. Well so so in this case this is our Tesla um, P4. So this is designed to be run in a data center. Ah this with data center. Yeah, so you know you you don't have any graphics outputs or anything. It's purely designed yeah. um, it, it's designed around inferencing which is the uh, running a network and identifying um, objects. So at the moment it's getting 30 streams of video at once and processing all of it. So it's identifying every car in each different stream in real time. Here's some other... This is a bigger one. So this, this is a um, the P40, which is the big brother. So um, in our Tesla lineup we have the, uh, the P100, which is what you saw over in these, in the sort of DGX1 implementations, but then you, you have the P4 and the P40 to be run in data centers. So in this case, it's identifying, um, letting you search through uh, video for specific things. So it'll find you blue cars or specific objects. So if you've got all this video, you, you can go back and find the information. So one thing I should show you is yeah. you, we also have. Um, I was showing you the body camera before. This is what it is, and that isn't that isn't talking to the cloud. That actually has a Jetson TX2 process, processor arm. inside it. The ARM solution. Yeah. So that's capable of actually running that software in real time, um, without the need for an internet connection or any sort of extra data coming. So it can through. do stuff offline and also yeah. speed up through the cloud. Yeah. The cloud so, AI. Because because especially if you're using things for. Um, for these sort of uh, uses where you want the information quickly, or uh, self-driving cars, robots, we've got some drones that can fly themselves. Uh, you don't want losing an internet connection to suddenly mean nothing works. So there are some times when having these devices that can process the networks like on the edge um, that are really, really useful, and other times you can rely on pushing data back to the cloud. And here we have uh, uh, another demonstration of Edge. Uh, this is the the drones. You have AI on these drones too. Yes. So the, these these drones you also use Jetson, um, and so what what they can do is essentially fly themselves. They they can identify what's going on around them, avoid objects. Um, they, they can, in this case, fly around a tree, 
uh, it can track things. So if you want to follow, yeah. Yeah. if you want to uh, follow you know, an object, it can do that automatically. And so these quite powerful drones um, are able to do so much more because they use deep learning and use the the Jetson. So here, the Computex. Uh, uh with the CEO of NVIDIA, you had a, a, a keynote. It's yes. all about AI. Yeah, That's we, the big deal right now. AI, AI is, is the most important thing happening in computing nowadays. It's allowing so many more usages and driving so many areas of computing like robots, like self-driving cars, um, video analytics. Its uses are so broad and it really has been a revolution that's been powered by the GPU, so it's something that's very important to us. So there's a big future in there. You're going to sell lots and lots of GPUs. It's been it's been a, the major growth area for us, um, and yeah, it's it's something that we're now developing our GPUs around. Where the Volta uh, card that I showed earlier that has specific hardware in there for running AI, which is you know it's something that's that's quite important for us. We're not just taking our existing GPUs and throwing them into a server. We're building our GPUs around AI. Cool. So that's awesome. Uh, looking forward to the future with lots of AI powered by NVIDIA.